I'm Karen, this is my studio and I'm just getting everything ready for my exhibition tomorrow night. I'm just going to stick some of these sketches up because it's my sketchbook theme the exhibition. Um, so yeah, there we go. I'll just get some tape and bits ready and stick these up. Let's go. I might just have it now. They look good. I think that works well. I'm going to break this, these small ones up with my bigger pieces so it's not too much because my work is very colourful and, and bold. Maybe it's too hard for people to see it properly. Here we go. Let's try and get a big heavy one up next. My first artist that I truly loved when I was a kid was uh, Matisse just for the colour and the brightness of his work. I've actually just been to the Tate to see his cutout, which was amazing. Um, but I guess uh, you can see through my sketchbooks that my work just constantly evolves and changes. And I'm always pushing myself to try and do different things. And this exhibition is based on my sketchbooks. So my sketchbook, is coming to life in this exhibition. Let me find that particular piece. This one here of the of the children is is that painting over there? You can see how I've I've written all my ideas in my sketchbook and made notes. But when I've come to paint it, it's it's changed quite a lot. I've taken quite a lot of elements out and added. And made it a bit simpler. So the whole exhibition is the sketchbook is literally has popped out of the page. So this is going to be my main focus and it's going to be in the middle of the room so people can have a look through all my weird and wonderful ideas. This one here has come out like this. Again there's quite a lot that's changed in it. But I want people to see my thought process because my sketchbooks really are, are kind of like a diary for me and it's important that I think people get to see the artist's thought process otherwise a lot of it doesn't make much sense they'll look at it and think well what's all that about there's a couple more here that are in the exhibition this one called King is the big one that I've just hung and this one over here, Girls, Girls, is it's going to be over in that corner. So yes, this is my exhibition. The sketchbook has come to life. Um, so I've just got to finish hanging on my work up. Um, and that's actually quite more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought it would be quite simple, but actually figuring out what looks best, where, is quite important. Any more hooks? I wonder if I can find some hooks from somewhere. I might have to leave that for a minute. I went out yesterday and bought bags and bags of hooks and wire, and I seem to have used it all. I've got quite a lot of small things now in this show, and underestimated how much I need. Just not sure if anyone's going to come. That's the problem, isn't it? Because you put all this work in and then think, oh my goodness, is anyone actually going to turn up to see it? It'll either be loads of people or just me on my own <laughs> getting drunk on all the wine. Thing is, I've, I've exhibited, this is my second show at the salon, so I shouldn't be nervous, but I guess that nervousness helps you um, get everything ready. It's good to have that, just that element of being a bit nervous, I think. Now, I've sold quite a few of these at... Uh, some exhibitions I've been doing in London, so I'm hoping they sell quite well here because they're small. I think people quite like them. 
quite like having something this size and they're not particularly expensive. Well, I do try and make my art, or at least try and make it quite affordable. I don't think it's expensive, I think I've probably spent more on some nice jewellery. to see what I've written and all my ideas and then how it ends up. I think this is some really, some really silly things I've written in here. It's like someone reading your diary. So hopefully they won't see those bits. They'll just look at the pictures and go, oh, lovely. No, oh, what's that weird stuff she's written? She's a bit odd.
at the salon last week um, it was great to see so many people here and get feedback about my work uh, I don't think I've sold any but there's still a bit of time left for people to come and see it and buy something um, but that wasn't really the point for me I was really just wanting to put myself back out there again because I'd taken three, four years off while I had the kids so it was just my way of getting myself back in the zone, getting out there, seeing what people's reactions were, which were all pretty good. And um, it's kind of onwards and upwards from here. Um, the salon is going to be moving, so that's pretty sad. I'm not sure they're going to be an exhibition space. <clears throat> so I'm looking at probably getting back into the London scene, doing some art fairs, getting in touch with old gallery contacts that I have there. Um, but I'll always be in touch with the guys at the salon and Ruthie. Um, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to come and join in events. Um, but yes, it'll be just sad to see it go. Comments. There's, have always loved your work, Karen, and this exhibition has a most creative bend. Well done. Onwards and upwards, Irene. The tapestries are extra special. Great stuff. The tapestries are extraordinarily brilliant. From Mr. Sutton. Really enjoyed your work, Karen. Keep it up. Fantastic work. Keep it free. That's from Steve. Uh, if only more people could see beauty for the lie that it is. Really strong, honest work. Completely refreshing in all the diatribe we are fed. So there's some lovely comments in there actually. This isn't this is nice, it's nice to keep. I don't think there's anything from Victor. But I'll have to speak to him about that. Where have you written? Oh there is, excuse me. Brilliant show, evolving and thought provoking narrative. Lovely work, Victor. Um, I'll let you write in. It's good. Um, loads of sketchbooks. Go back years, these sketchbooks. As I said, all my work starts in a sketchbook. These are some old ones. <coughs> all sorts of different things, all the things inspired by. There's me holding a gun to my head. This is a real gun. Fashion. Drawing, beautiful rows here, fairies, people that are joined together that have no legs, um, so yes, all my work starts in a sketchbook in some form, and then even if it's a tiny detail, I will carry on into a painting, something that inspires me. There's pictures from fashion magazines with sort of collaged heads. Quite dark, really, these old ones compared to my the new ones I've been doing. 
lots of dark colours and I haven't really realised that before till now. And then my latest one, which is as part of the exhibition, is a lot more colourful, I guess. And these, these images were done on Photoshop. So I've messed about with Photoshop cutting and pasting and getting the balance between everything the way I want it and then taking this initial idea and putting it on canvas when it will just, it will all change again. I'll add more details, I'll take things away, I'll change the colours. things because uh, it's come to the end of the salon it's really quite sad um, I've got nowhere to, to work from at the moment so I'm going to just be working out of a sketchbook and yeah really sad I'll miss everybody here I'll miss the salon um, yeah but long lay the legacy continue I think is the key for goodness sake.